great and a quaint bed and breakfast, then head outside the city limits. And some of them have spectacular views. But while it may not be a castle, Mrs. Foley makes a breakfast fit for a king. This is very nice with the um, Irish pouring honey. Or maybe, sir. B&Bs are cozy and warm and filled with their owner's personal touches and charms. That'll be enough, thank you. It was time to head to the Cork city centre to talk to some locals who are famous for their quick wit. Do I look like a f***ing comedian to you? Oh <laughs> What's there to do at night here? Drink, take drugs, take drugs. Take drugs. We're all alcoholics. Go into the off license, get us drink. What's what? Six Dutch gold. Six cans of Dutch gold. Six Dutch gold? Yeah. Of course I wasn't going to use this yeah. underage hooligan's money to buy beer <laughs> for them. The lonely traveller was no stranger to threesomes. But a menage a trois with the world's second tallest twins? Even he was not sure he had that much pepper snot. I couldn't help but think what a thrill it must have been for these simple pub folk to be in the midst of a real man of letters. Do you want a free pint on the house? Sure. All right. I headed to Blarney Castle, built in 1446 and home to the famous Blarney Stone. Kissing the Blarney Stone is said to magically bestow eloquence, or the gift of gab. Did you get the gift of gab? No. Did you get the gift of gab? No. Did you get the gift of gab up there? Yes, yes we did. Hold the bears. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I did it! I don't know about the gift of gab, but I did get the gift of herpes. Simplex one. But like a trooper, I soldiered on to beautiful County Kerry, which is rich in history and sheeps. These fields, as far as the eye can see, belong to wealthy and beloved local landowner Herbert O'Connor. And the sheep, hundreds of them, Every last one of them is Herbie's. Behind me is the Gallerous Oratory. Built between the 6th and 9th century, it is Ireland's oldest and best preserved early Christian church. Many a pilgrim came from far and wide to find his or her peace. <laughs> What's that, thing? What's that thing in your legs? It's nothing. The damp weather and incessant teasing was only aggravating my cold sore. I convinced the producers that it would be prudent if I convalesced in the healing tropical climes of sunny Barbados. Barbados is more than just a tropical paradise. It's filled with genuinely friendly people, delicious cuisine, and exotic entertainments. The two weeks I spent in Barbados was the highlight of my trip to Ireland. With my herpes in remission, I returned to Ireland's dank charm and filling cuisine. Like they have at this late night fish and chip shop. Once you never know who you'll bump into here. Hey, how you doing? Hello there. Oh! 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 oh. What the f***? Jesus Christ, I thought you were somebody else. Oh. Though so this behavior may seem oh. shocking, to the Irish, a good no, punch-up is just a way of breaking the ice. Oh, no, no. Hey, what did you say? Hello, f*** you. Oh! You're all right, then. Uh, oh. I thought you were somebody else. Oh, yeah, anyway, uh, welcome to Ireland. There's a oh. great spot, hey. <laughs> this guy. When Care Hotline gets one of us returns, I run into some fellow countrymen. <laughs> Scottish colonialists brought golf to Ireland in the 17th century, once the countryside is dotted with beautiful courses. I got to play at a real link style pitch and putt, where I teed off with a Catholic priest. Jeez, does that hit her? Well, let's just say there was a wee little wager. Sit! 
off. So a priest, a nun, and a rabbi are playing golf. Oh, I'll never forget it. Fonzo, where'd you go to seminary? Don't do that one in front of him. Sorry about that. Oh. Don't do that. Oh, I can't help. I'm, I'm allergic to the grass. I've seen that. What? Listen, you've been riding me all afternoon. The West Coast village of Doolin is famous for its traditional Irish music. Smiling, everyone oh. is happy and... This shop featured a wide variety of instruments used in traditional Irish music. Like the boron. Harmonica. Wait. Banjo. But not a single ceremony. That's why I brought my own. Eager to test my theory that its haunting electronic veil is the perfect complement to Irish music's maudlin strains. One, two, three, four. Peninsula has some of the most ruggedly beautiful landscape in Ireland, as illustrated in this stunning stock footage. I made a beeline to Slay Head, which is said to have the best view on the peninsula. The Dingle Peninsula is rich 